to infinity and beyond. Hello everybody, it's Roger and James here from Infinity and Beyond. On this episode, we're going to be talking about our E3 predictions for Marvel video games. So we're going to kick straight off um, with some predictions. Now, these are kind of pretty easy ones, really. Yeah, we're going that's... to have Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite is going to be probably playable and probably have a new trailer and bits and pieces because that's the next game. Sony are going to probably have a big trailer during their presentation and we might get a release window. Um, whether or not it's this winter, I'm still not sure. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if this was a big holiday release or if they even held off until March next year or something like that because that's a big kind of new window. Uh to, to specify, talking about uh, Spider-Man here, yeah, right? Yeah, I don't think we actually said the title. No, yeah, well, it doesn't <laughs> even, that is the only title. There isn't even, it doesn't even have a, its official title yet. Um, keep hearing people like saying about, you know, like bringing other characters and stuff, right? You know, well, Sony's got this exclusive, maybe they're all available. Yeah, Spider-Man's got an exclusive deal with Sony because of the movie. There is some, there was some deal done at some point, that's why they have Spider-Man as a Sony exclusive. You know, they had yeah. the movie. That was part of it, I'm sure of it. Um, the Square Enix Avengers game is a year or so away. We might see a new trailer. We'll, I think Square Enix will at least acknowledge that they're doing something with it. Um, but again, that's another. I think that's a, a while out. Um, I don't think we're going to get anything for the Avengers. If they're going to tell us anything this year, it'll be at D23. Um, they're also apparently working on uh, a Guardians of the Galaxy game. Now, whether or not that is maybe in a teaser clip for um, either Square Enix event or uh, maybe Sony or someone like that is going to be like, look, we've got this brand new game coming. Because um, they're all... It's going to be difficult this year. We'll go into all the other like companies that, like Microsoft and stuff in later episodes. But um, this that kind of jumps on. So I can't see them uh, announcing any other because we've got those. Those are some pretty big games coming out. Those four alone, really. But there are some other stuff. Anything on that you wanted to jump in on? Um, I think we might also see a couple of announcements about Marvel Heroes Omega. Maybe here, like. Um information about the xbox launch because we know it's coming to xbox but we haven't heard any details uh we might get some new character reveals for marvel versus capcom infinite i know you mentioned that there'd probably be a trailer and it might be playable but i think we'll we'll probably find some new characters uh on both sides on the marvel yeah. and the capcom side i will only be paying attention to half of those um <laughs> that's probably about it we might might get details on a hypothetical Lego Guardians of the Galaxy game. Yeah. But they, if they're going to talk about another Guardians of the Galaxy game, then they probably don't want to overlap them. No. And again, Lego Guardians of the Galaxy, assuming it exists, yeah. would probably make more sense at D23, which is yeah. more Disney and kid-oriented. Yeah. So. yeah, I mean, whether or not that, I, I think a Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy game is a very, very strong possibility. They It wasn't included in the... The Avengers, also sort of a game that came out last year, that that whole movie was missed off from that whole thing, and now they've got two movies and lots of characters, and I think it's a strong enough franchise on its own. Whether or not that gets announced wouldn't surprise me, um, but they could hold off for another year on that very easily. It depends what else Lego are working on, but I think a Guardians of the Galaxy is the next Marvel Lego game. Whether or not, but it could be another year away. Honestly, we could see Thor Ragnarok get tossed into there because based on the trailer that we've seen, it's very sci-fi. It's following a lot of the, the similar themes of Guardians of the Galaxy. I could see it at the very least as like a DLC for, for that. And again, you know, um, we're completely talking about this game as if it's a done deal and it yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. entirely possible to just be like, no, we're not, we're not yeah. going to do a Lego like, Guardians um, of the Galaxy. Now, the, Disney were working on some on a for Ragnarok video game for or plug tie-in for Disney Infinity before it got cancelled. Whether or not Avalanche are working on that on a, a kids version movie tie-in, I'm not entirely too sure because Marvel games are they they're taking games seriously now and they they want quality, they want quant, they want so whether or not it's class as a kids game, but I, Marvel games are they're serious at the minute. They're taking this stuff good, and I can't see them wanting to throw a, a Thor Ragnarok kind of basic kids game 
tie in. I think they they would probably cause more issues than that. That's worth. I really think that they don't want to throw out anything Avengers related that's not in the Avengers game itself because they don't want you to be distracted by Thor. They don't want you to even be distracted by Guardians of the Galaxy. They want you to be next year. It's Avengers. It's Infinity War. We want all of our cards in yeah. this triple A basket of hopefully awesomeness. So I think yeah. that that's really what they're going to be focusing on. Yeah. I, it just definitely does look interesting that they're doing this. Um, like I said, um, as far as other stuff, you know, they might we could get maybe some new Zen Pinball stuff, maybe for Guardians of the Galaxy. That could drop in any minute. wouldn't surprise me. Um, I'd be fine as, with that. Yeah, I think there's almost that kind of thing of, because there's some major Marvel games been announced, the focus is going to be on the stuff that they've announced. and kind of. I can't imagine them really telling us too much more in advance because... There are some big games, Spider-Man, Marvel vs. Capcom, Avengers, the untitled Marvel. Because Square Enix have a multi-deal, um, a multi-game deal. With right. Them. So they're going to be the gut ones to do it. Um, whether or not we see any tie-ins on like a 3DS game or anything like that, I'm not sure. Like they're really kind of going down that line at the moment. There doesn't seem to be a lot on Marvel side on either that you know some kind of kids version. But, no, I, I think Marvel's in some ways was actually kind of quite... An, I can't see us being surprised by anything. I mean, they could pull something out, but, yeah, in all likelihood, we're looking at, you know, the very obvious stuff, the stuff we already know about, and we'll get more details about those, especially since some of them are right around the corner. Um, like we saw with Disney, it's entirely possible we might start seeing some additional re-releases. Mm. We might see, I mean, they they really re-released Marvel Ultimate Alliance and they burned a lot of credit with that because of how bad the port was. But they've got other games in their back catalog and not all of them are, you know, like Iron Man 2, which was yeah. atrocious. They've got some decent games back there. And, you know, they've got some going all the way back to the Super Nintendo era that, mm. honestly, I could see picking up in like a retro package. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if we start seeing some like classic stuff released on any of the consoles. Obviously, the virtual console for Switch, but also just in general, release re-releasing some PS2 content. Um, I think in general, you know, there's a lot of companies now looking at if they can work out a licensing deal with with Marvel for an old game, could very easily come in. But I think, like you said, there's a lot of big stuff coming for Marvel and I think it's more about us finding out more about those games than anything particularly brand new. Now, I don't think they're going to do this, so this isn't a prediction, but what I would love to see is like one of those old school brawler games like Maximum Carnage or you know one of the X-Men games mm -hmm. or whatever with Guardians of the Galaxy because I think it would fit in really well with like that retro styling yeah. that Guardians has, you know, the 80s music, yeah. 70s music, etc. Having an old school you know, pixel art side scroller brawler in the vein of Maximum Carnage would be a lot of fun. And yeah. I, that's not a prediction. I don't think yeah. they're doing that, but I would absolutely pick that up if they did. <laughs> no, it's it's going to be interesting to see what's going on with all of this. Um, but I think Marvel. I think we're going to see plenty there. But I, there is some big games, and I think Sony are going to blast on that Spider-Man during their presentation. I think that's going to be a big, strong, strong thing. Honestly, if they don't have any Spider-Man of any sort at the E3 presentation, it's going to be kind of worrying. Mm. So I think they really need they need to show some something so that people know that the game even still exists because we have not gotten a proper trailer for Spider-Man for a very long time. Mm. And it, in theory, it should be coming out relatively soon, possibly even by the end of this year, and we don't know squat about it. No. I mean, it also depends. I mean, it's not tied into Homecoming. We know that. But, you know, you got Scorpio, you got other stuff, they, and you got, they've got a lot of... Sony are going to have to sort of pull out the big guns, but who knows on that one. Um, any other predictions from Marvel? No, not really. I think we, we know pretty much what's going on. You could take some guesses about, like, random like an agents of shield tie-in or there'll be some announcements with like yeah no i don't actually think there's an agents of shield tie-in but um 
There is the Inhumans TV show. They might have something for that. And they might announce various events for all their mobile games. Cham- yeah. Uh, Contest of Champions, Avengers Academy, etc. Yeah, the thing is now with all these like different sort of like Comic Cons and events and stuff, they are definitely much more spreading that content out. And also E3 is so busy that it's actually hard for them sometimes to get the word out. So if they held on to something sort of like New York Comic Con or San Diego Comic Con or D23... You want to stretch that information out, but I think I think E3 is going to be about the big, the big heavy hitters, and that'll probably be about it. Yeah. This one. On that Guardians of Guardians of the Galaxy Pong. Well, I think I mean I think you know it wouldn't surprise <laughs> me if we saw the what another trailer for an you know, episode two or three of Guardians of the Galaxy Telltale. Um, That's true. That's you know, actually a legit. Yeah, you know, we got things like that as well because that'll be spread out, but. Should be good. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what comes. I'm. I is that thing of like you know there is going to be Marvel content at E3 shown off. So looking forward to that. Especially going to be what that e- Sony presentation. The main thing I'm going to be looking for will be to see what that what Spider Man's going to be doing. Yeah, I mean we need to see what's going on there. Everything else we already have a general idea. Spider Man, we we just don't know. Yeah. Right, on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, be sure to check us out over on all the different video or audio platforms, whichever one you're watching or listening to this one on, including VidMe, Twitch, YouTube. You can also find us on iTunes, Stitch, etc. You can also find us over at DiscKingdom.com. You can find James. Where can they find you over at? Uh, HeroicLegacy.com. And so if you're into comic books and stuff, you definitely want to check that one out as well. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. We shall see you guys soon. Laters. Later. Later.